Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here, and I am back with my good buddies at the Hearst Autoplex. And I've actually got a couple of cars parked back here behind the building. Today, I want to share some news that came out literally just a few hours ago about what's going on with the Camaro and Chevy and their plans. Uh, kind of interesting because they are sort of following in the footsteps of uh, some of the press that Dodge just put out recently. So very interesting stuff coming down the pipe. Thought I would share it with you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, I uh, need you to do me a big, gigantic favor. Hit subscribe for me. I would really, really appreciate it. I have so much great content coming your way this year. And uh, here we go. Now, before I actually head back to those two cars, I just wanna give you a really quick preview on an upcoming video that I'm gonna be doing. That is a brand new Porsche 992. These are like impossible to get right now. Well, they have one, it's a 2021, so uh, can't wait to bring this to you. Let's head back. As you can see behind me, I do have a Camaro. Of course, that is a ZL1. Over here, I've actually got my good buddy, uh, Rob's former car actually uh, he went ahead and traded that car in but you can see that is an SRT 392 just for reference but really what I wanted to talk about today was uh, the fact that several articles have come out actually most noteworthy from Motor Trend and they're a pretty reliable source that uh, in 2024 the uh, Camaro is actually going to go away completely we did see the Camaro kind of go away back in like 1998 it kind of re-emerged back in 2010 and they've seen sales sort of dwindling off uh, kind of year after year and I feel like uh, right now GM just feels like the Camaro really isn't doing what it needs to do from a sales perspective so obviously they have the Corvette still out there um, but they have announced their intention to not only discontinue uh, after 2024 the Camaro but they are going to be reintroducing an all-electric performance sedan so they're gonna go to a four-door on this and uh, it makes for quite an interesting uh, quite an interesting thing to ponder now, as many of us are aware, just recently Dodge and Mopar, Stellantis, if you will, they announced their intention by 2024 to go to a uh, all electric muscle car offering. And I kind of put out a video talking about maybe what some of those power plants might look like. And uh, for a lot of people out there, a lot of traditional muscle car people, that was something they just did not want to hear whatsoever. But that is kind of the way things are going. So by 2024, we are going to see a huge shift, obviously, from the uh, offering of uh, Mopar here. It's just going to be very different indeed. And now, of course, Chevy has followed suit. We will no longer even see the Camaro at all. So the Camaro is just going to go away and they will introduce something brand new for us that's going to be all electric. Now, keep in mind, uh, they also have some very substantial power plants that they're talking about putting in this new, uh, this new sedan. It should be uh, pretty interesting. Now, I do kind of want to make a couple of side notes, if you will. Now, the internal combustion engine, it's not going away anytime soon, guys. It's still going to be out there. It's still going to be around. We just don't have the infrastructure out there to support all the cars out there being fully electric at this juncture. Now, are we headed in that direction? It appears so. Now, there may be some fun and exciting things that come with this change, and there may be some things that we just don't really like so much. I've heard a ton of stuff in the comments. But uh, you've got a couple more years, essentially, whether you like a Charger or Challenger, uh, whether it's a V6, an RT, an SRT, 392, a Hellcat, whatever it may be. If you like those cars, you got a couple more years of buying those and you may lose your opportunity, of course, unless you buy a used version. The same thing obviously goes for the Camaro, whether it's a six cylinder, the Turbo 4 whether it's the uh, the SS or whether it's like the ZL1. Um, they've got a fantastic uh, bunch of offerings on the Camaro right now, but you got a couple more years of those and chances are you won't be able to get those anymore. Now, on the Corvette, uh, we may be talking about uh, keeping that internal combustion engine going for quite some time. We've already heard them talk about maybe hybrid technology going and say their ZR1 or their Zora offerings. But um, as far as we know right now, they still intend to keep the internal combustion engine in the Corvette, which of course is their bad daddy uh, as it is. So interesting to ponder all this kind of stuff. I just thought I would share a little bit of news with you guys. I feel like it is definitely noteworthy and we, uh, we can just see the direction that everything is headed. So whether you like it or not, it's coming. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I'll also post a link to that uh, Motor Trend article down there and I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.